Hello, this is a very quick tutorial just to look at calculating rates, respiratory rates, from either a respiratory flow trace or from a CO2 or O2 trace taken from a, um, a Servomex. Here we have uh, the incremental exercise protocol and we've been using for other analyses. We've got uh, flow, volume from the respiratory pod, we've got CO2 and O2 from a Servomex, uh, blood pressure, heart rate and SpO2 from Finopress, ECG and um, and sats meter respectively but we're only interested in the flow um, we're not going to bother zooming in or zooming out we just want to add a channel to measure the uh, flow uh, rate so in other words the breathing rate so we go to setup choose channel settings and we add another channel I've got seven but you may only have two or three but we'll add another one and we'll call this one respiratory rate RR and this is derived from the flow and we click on the no calculation button and choose cyclic measurements and we choose flow as our source measurement is rate let's leave decimal places at zero by default it will be four but I've got my machine set up here so the default is zero and in the preset here we scroll down until we see respir respiratory airflow and then just have a little zoom in and make sure that it's picking up all the peaks um, it's picking up a double peak but that is a double breath so we'll leave that as it is there's a double breath so just make sure that's working and that's all good you could adjust this of course and try and smooth it out but I think that's um, that's pretty good and you can see it's actually quite variable this respiratory rate isn't uh, stable so we're expecting to see some variation so we click on OK press OK here and there is our respiratory rate down the bottom so let's just zoom in on that and you can see as predicted it's quite variable there are some spikes in here and look at this huge increase in respiratory rate let's just zoom in on this area here and have a quick look and lo and behold there's a double breath in fact there's a triple breath here where the subject has uh, taken a quick intake and of breath and it's uh, counted that as three breaths so that would explain those data um, we may want to smooth these data somehow we may want to bin them um, in other words cut them into into segments so I'm going to add another channel at this point and I'm going to add another channel so nine channels I'm going to call this RR flow smooth and I'm going to use a smoothing algorithm um, the software has a lot of different smoothing algorithms if you click down on smoothing you've got a choice between a triangular this one a median filter and averaging decimalization the averaging decimation one what that actually does is it bins your data for you so I'm going to click on averaging and choose five seconds and I'm going to choose the source as flow so what the software will now do if we see the data here if I just zoom that up to there and have a little look you'll see what it's done is it's taken bins of five seconds and it's averaged the respiratory rate over those five seconds so each of these little bins here is a five second period you can see it jumps from bin to bin to bin but that's because the average has increased so this is a very quick way of eyeballing your data having a little look and seeing yep things have changed things have gone up you then may will end up binning from your raw data up here but at least here you can see some trends and you can change this smoothing and you can bin it into 10 second bins for instance and again you can see trends and we may end up just for the visualization bin it into 30 second bins and you can see here quite clearly now there is an absolute trend for respiratory rate to increase over the time course of this practical so that's working out our respiratory rate from the uh, flow so let's go back to our channel settings and go back to this flow and change it so now we're using the CO2 there we are and we'll choose the same respiration airflow have a little look make sure it's picking up all of our peaks which it does look like it is click on OK click OK again and lo and behold again we have our respiratory rate this time it's taken from the uh, let's zoom in a bit this time it's taken from the end tidal CO2s which is this channel here and again it shows a trend that respiratory rate is increasing from about 20 to about 30 over the course of the practical and because this one here the smoothing was set up to work from the channel 8 irrespective of what the channel 8 was actually doing it's also managed to bin our data from these new analyses and again we see exactly the same trend 
it's going from around 15 to 20 up to around 30. So the two different types of analyses from the two different traces give us the same data, which we'd expect, because they were taken from the same person at the same time. So certainly use these data here for your analyses. I, um, you know, I, I encourage using a, um, a sum like this, a quick uh, look-see, just to see where trends are and see what kind of data you expect to see, but certainly take your binning data, your averages, uh, from the raw trace here so you can if you need to exclude any um, strange anomalies where for instance respiratory air goes from 20 to 70 in one breath that's clearly a, a mistake so there we can uh, clearly see that's worked quite effectively we've now got a lot more channels up and running on this system but it all seems to be, be happy so uh, I hope that helps